connected. Popping a nice smoke line for uh, Battlefed, which seriously saved his life. Like, he was down to a thousand and managed, managed to repair himself up to 30k again. Like, serious. Everyone are. Marlin. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Oh, you want to know what temperature it is outside? Sure. 79 degrees with a high of 87 and a low of 71 with clear skies. Where are you? Huh? Actually, thunderstorms at 6 o'clock, but that's normal in the afternoons. Where are you at, site? Oh, Florida. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. You see, Neverwinter, we don't really experience seasons down here except for hot, beautiful, really hot, nice. Where do you live? Down in. I, I go to school in Tampa, but I really honestly live in Orlando because I'm only here for the semesters and I go back to my parents. Go you know? Yourself anyway. <laughs> oh. oh wow! We're we're gonna send you to the Arctic Circle, bitch. Let's see, yeah. survive up there. <laughs> like I will survive. Hey! <laughs> it's funny when the temperature drops below sixty-five. Everyone's got our jackets on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I said, like, yeah, we're still in shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> hey, believe it or not, I was in, uh, in uh, California two years ago. It was 12, 12 about, no, 12 Celsius. I walked around in, in, a, in a real thin hoodie, shorts and sandals, and you could tell who was from California. Winter coats, toques, winter boots, and I'm just giggling away going, Twenty or twenty-five. I just came from, and they're like, "Ah, uh, this guy must be nuts." And we're like, "Bitch, we're Canadians. We're always nuts." <laughs> when it comes yeah. to you know, um, we have to go walk around the aircraft before every flight. So we, I, when I fly to Hong Kong to Beijing one time, it was like fifteen, twenty degrees, pretty warm in Hong Kong. Twenty degrees is about. 68. They're Canadians. Yeah. And it was 3 degrees in Beijing. Uh, so 37.4. Jesus. And I was in my short sleeve, like, you know, like the pilot shirts, thin as hell, and the the, the dress pants, thin as hell. <laughs> I was doing walk around in my short sleeves. Everybody else was in big, thick jackets and, like, fur hats and all. They're all looking at me funny. It, it's really hilarious when you actually see somebody who can actually take the cold compares it to somebody who really can't take the cold. <laughs> yeah. The best is when we have like new immigrants here, you know what I mean? And they're brand new here, so they don't know Canadian winters yet. And because uh, my aunt's an immigrant, right? She's like in a hoodie and all sorts of shit when winter starts. Meanwhile, uh, my mother is just like, yeah, you know, it's like minus 10 outside. Who gives a shit? You know, I'm going to go outside in like skinny jeans and um, a very sort of, sort of like a fall coat, you know, or it's just a sweatshirt. And she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? And it's like <laughs> four for her and it's four degrees Celsius for her. And it's minus 10 for my mother. And it's like, that's like the two different dress codes. You know, it's, it's, it's hilarious. You see, my uh, family used to live up, in, or my my parents and my uh, my aunt, they all used to live up in Detroit. That's where my siblings are born. But um, 
then my family moved on to Puerto Rico, where I was born, and we moved back up to Florida. So it's all, my parents refused to go anywhere other than Florida because it's nice and warm. But I tell you, we do have some intense heat when um, when summer kicks in from about March through to November. Or actually, no, not really November, but March through October. We're in the 90s, sometimes 100s, pretty much every day. That's why I don't feel sorry when a typhoon hits Florida. <laughs> when a hurricane? <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of our, like, when hurricanes come in, honestly, Floridians aren't seriously worried as much as you think. Because a lot of our buildings are, like, designed to take that stuff. And, um, saying that we don't get a lot of destruction, but we also have a bunch of lunatics in Florida that just... They go at it. Like, I, I, one of my buddies in high school, when Irma was coming in two years ago, he was like, yeah, bro, dude, you have no idea what the waves are like, bro. I'm going out there ripping some shreds, man, tonight. You want to come? I'm like, dude, I'm not really much of a surfer, but good luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he, every day after class, he would go out to the beach. And this was in Orlando. That's an hour and a half drive every day. Wow. Now the dude I makes custom, custom surfboards. Quack, you want to division up and uh, never winner? Sure. I'm doing my eight. Yeah, man. I'll work on the Edinburgh thing. You know what's funny? I'm expecting a cat package from Canada Post. Uh oh. What? They're fucking in, I think. Mike? Yeah, sorry. I'm upstairs. That's why. Ah. You're the odd strike down there today? Also, I didn't get uh, superintendent. I went with IFHE, and I'm saving up for a radio location. Did you get concealment? And concealment, yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing the... <laughs> nah, I skipped that. <laughs> ah, screw it. We don't need that. We're too big. Yeah. 6.2 is good enough. Exactly. Who needs 6? <laughs> Quack, will you let me know when you if you post it on YouTube? Cause, yeah, uh, of course. Some of the guys on their team are trying to see it from our point yeah. of view. Once I go through all that trash talk, yeah. <laughs> Dog's still sleeping in. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, Fucking lucky dog. <laughs> sleeping every day. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, don't talk about your wife that way. Some people are just mean to family members. That's not a dog. That's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when I when I when I uh, see, see a woman walking around, I'm like. Man, that's one lucky dog. He's walking the bitch. 
Wow. <laughs> See, we Canadians seem to be nice, but we wouldn't want to. We could be really <laughs> insulting. <laughs> we just don't care what's on the other side of that border. Especially those warm ones. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Man, we make half of the news in, in the States. For all the wrong reasons, of course. <laughs> wow, Trump did this wrong. Trump did that wrong. Trump screwed this group over. Or fuck. Yeah, it's all we hear is this and that and this and that. It's like all the hatred against Trump. I'm like, and I watched the last one where the reporter is going, well, what do you think about all these immigrants? Yes, I think of it as an invasion of migrants. And he's like, and the, the, he goes, why do you think it was an invasion? Because I think of it as it's my personal opinion of it. That's all it is. And he goes, well, sir, these are families that are looking for better lives. He goes, that's not my problem. <laughs> my problem is the United States of the America right now that I need to fix up. To be honest, there's a lot of correctness in that statement. I mean, sure, there's humanitarian issues that need help, especially down there, but, like, I have a lot of family stuck in Venezuela, but in terms of the states, it's a different matter. But no, my point was that Floridians in general make the news a lot for very stupid reasons. I didn't realize how many sevens there were in this match. A lot of what? Yeah, I'm looking at that shores and I think it's losing HP already. Fodder just English? I thought it was. Yeah, I know, I know, but you know, those, those, those uh, southerners just don't understand English. <laughs> you gotta talk a little slack, y'all, man. Yeah, no doubt, get a little, a little tongue work in there. Okay, <laughs> when I explain this, I'm sure I've actually already explained it to you, but I am technically in the north part of Florida. And by north, it's more so flipped, okay? The southern half of the state is all like the northern states in terms of, uh, it's more democratic and um, very Hispanic. The north part of Florida is really like your southern states, all redneck and like, it's a different freaking country. Where to go, Sims? Yeah. Trying to get that key. 
army. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, he has short range. Stare at it, they'll lose its help. Baltimore, hello. This all stays repaired. Sure, 
He's right there. Kiev, Carry this team now. Jump hard and see. It's okay. Watch that sides. There's a Fiji in there somewhere too. There he is. What are you gonna do? Give John Bart the Kraken. <laughs> oh, he wants it. Yeah, he's lucky. 
Maybe Kiev will get the four goal. Yeah, man. I don't call this a game of rock, paper, scissors, and CVs or nothing. <laughs> You're dead. Thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> hey, at least I outlasted everyone. <laughs> yeah, then you get the blame. Stupid BB sitting in the back, not tanking for anybody. That, you know, <laughs> that cruiser over floating on the far side of the map. Yeah. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't name any names. What are you doing there, Sage? Yeah. <laughs> I think he was talking about me. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait till I get RFD on this thing or RDF. Hey, did you guys look it in the news and try opening up that one uh, to join the Turkey team? Yeah, I tried earlier. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. I, I was just making sure because, you know. Oh, no, I, I can't even click three. on it. Oh, yeah, I got a 403. Oh, they fixed it. Did they? Yeah, you can't click on it no more. Yeah, let me see. Uh, let me look. Uh, yeah, coming soon. Yeah, right. Yeah, I got that error. What, 403 or 406? You know, I even got to 20%. I'm burning, and I'm still burning. <laughs> Man, I've forgotten about how much money that Alabama can make me. Alabama? Yeah. Just print credits. Really? Yeah. It is, well, okay. Premium ships help people with credit grinding. Yeah. But the Missouri has even more credit grinding abilities to where you can get a million credits each battle. Wow. Is that why they yanked it out of the, the premium? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was only on for a certain amount of time. There's a Massey. Oh boy. Ooh, we got some cans. <laughs> Total flip of the last one, eh? So how far are you, Saint? Sorry, what? How close are you? To the St. Louis? Well, I ground out Algerie and half of this yesterday, so pretty close, actually. Right on. I should have St. Louis today. Uh, stations. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay, I seriously want to go out wide, but we need another ship out left. Or out to the right. No, quite. Um, yeah. If the gearing goes to C, quack, go between C and D. Alright. Looks like you're going C. Alright, yeah. 
Quack, turn right. Is a shimmy not going to do anything? Yeah, you know that. But he did say negative. Oh, Gearing just woke up. He's going to see. <laughs> thanks, Captain. <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting me know. Two minutes in. <laughs> More jump bots. I can't believe people can block that way. Right? Great guns, what I've been hearing, but no. That's why it's a bow tankering. Bow tanking too. Booster's gonna do its thing. This Des Moines is dead. He's going right at them. Oh, I see him right behind the island there. This Republic, I think, just kicked off dead. Yeah. Too bad I can't reach him. I can. <laughs> Stupid British guns. Six behind a big rock. There's a gearing. What do you think, DD at C? Don't 
know what it is, so I can't see it. Oh my gosh, they're in North Falls, you and me, she and me, completely missed the island. So we have two fires on it. There he is. Boosters in C. Oh, I just sent him down the bus. I'm in no position to help you. I will be in a second, though. Actually, no, he's not. He's moving. No, I won't. Did I? I gotta run. What are you doing? took to get there. Right. Damn it, Montana, you were broadside to me. Yeah. Right. Oh, 
Look at the Mugami hiding in that island the whole time. Wow, he's getting there full of hell. He's been there since the game started. What it is. Hold up. Hey. hey. I'm reinstalling the game. I freaking, I don't know, some critical errors last night. Another coupon. Wow. Hold on. Warga Wargaming has sent me a 10% and now a 30% discount coupon. Uh oh, I think I just got. Yeah, I got the same thing. Well, now I feel special. <laughs> you didn't get one? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for being bottomless tier, you know. What are you talking about? No, I did get one. I was the one that mentioned it. I didn't Talking get one. about you. Quack never got one. He got left in the cold. Oh. <laughs> well, he is in the cold anyway, right? Should I use it on the balloons or a ship? Let's see. How far away are you from getting to St. Louis? Me, oh, um, like. 80k, I think. 90. Nice. 100k. We'll get to tier 9 together. Hold my hand, say. <laughs> you see this? Jesus, the, the, holy fuck. 200. Wow. Without the discount, 233 co with the Admiral pack, the Jean part. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> like. I, how did you get the coupons? It was just given. Like, did it show up somewhere saying you got yep, one? Yep, right on mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Let me know when you guys are going to drop, because I'll drop with you. 
Abruzzi, the tier seven Italian cruiser, or Italian. Okay, well, what about Alabama or Massachusetts? I already have turpits. Talking about money, it's obvi obviously neither. I don't know. <laughs> Just can't get the Missouri anymore. I know. Um, I think they're two, from what I've read before a long time ago, they're like two slightly different. No, I, I know the difference, but one's a, one's like a. The Alabama is the same ship as the Massachusetts, other than. The guns are more accurate on the Alabama, and the secondaries on the Massachusetts are further. Yeah. So, it depends on... And I already have turpids. Just sit back and relax. Yeah, but this is 30% coupon. I meant, like, take the Alabama and sit back and relax and shoot from far. <laughs> oh. What about the Roma? The Aroma. I don't want Aroma. What's the coupon? 30%. Off premium ships? Off, um... Okay, the Alabama would go from 53 to 37. Nice. I got it when it was on sale a while ago. I like it. I don't know, I'll think about it. I don't need to buy anything right now. Jim, what are you up to? I think he's waiting for his game to re-download. Oh. Ooh, that as twice? Isn't that twice he's done that? All right, Brandy, you ready to drop? I'm ready. Brandy. Yeah, I'm good. All right, I'm drop. Three, two, one, drop. No, CBs. Test, test. Hey, what up, Jim? Pickles. Let's see if the game works now. 
had to redownload it last night. General quarters. Dude, clan battles last night? Yeah, how'd it go? Um, teammate won. Again, um, it went. We. It was best of five again. We got to, uh. The fifth match. We won one. It, it just kept going back and forth between winning. And, um. They were getting really heated on B side. Oh, really? How about what? Just. Just. The game. I don't know really how to explain it. They, they, they were just, like, not having it. Not having fun or, like, pissed off they were losing? I'm sure that's part of it, but. Um. There's a lot of frustration being thrown around all the place, and I, I was watching Mind Games' stream this morning about it last night, and War God, Hero, Reaper, we were all getting pretty upset with each other. Wow. What was the Hawk doing? He was trying to um, cool it down, like, yeah, well, guys, we'll, we'll debrief after, all right? Just talk about the game right now. And that's, that's not even the real clan battles. No. That's just a friendly scrimmage. Yeah. But Hero gets up, he gets worked up pretty easy if he has bad games and, like, he's easy to just throw off. <laughs> and he was having really bad games because Mule was in our battleship and he kept death striking him. Oh, wow. That's gonna piss anybody off. Oh, yeah. We ran. We ran the option of having two battleships, we only had eight players per team, or seven v seven. So um, they had two battleships and we ran one. Since I'm not there anymore, is it time to maybe rebalance the teams now that you've actually seen how people play together? Um. Okay, so I brought it up to. Battlefed Meal and Paul last night that the teams are a little unbalanced and um, Paul and Battlefed were like, dude, um, we can't rebalance these teams. As much as you want talent to be 100%, it's, it's just not going to be 100% on both sides for one. And two, um, Having Paul's point was having uh, players that mesh together is more valuable than having the talent meshed. Well, here's the here's what I'm saying though. Brandy, Baku, and I all left from the team. I'm no, I, I, balance out their own personalities. I, I hear that. So that that, that team. It doesn't surprise me what you said, because the people who were put on that team to manage that and calm that down aren't there anymore. Mm -hmm. So, if you're asking me, that Bravo team has been disrupted. It is definitely worth, and it's not about the talent, because the talent is balanced. But, I mean, talent's balanced across the planet all in all. At the end of the day, though, if they're... If they're tearing each other apart over a friendly Sunday night scrimmage, dude, something needs to change. That's that's not going to be fixed, and it's not going to be healthy for five people. Uh, so I'm not sure, you know, what the best ways to go about it. It might be time for the top three. To just sit down and now that you play together, get the callers together. You and Hawk. Yeah. And quite frankly, just in the interest of experimenting, and there's nothing wrong with that, because you're allowed to make mistakes when you're doing big changes. Yeah. Just blame it on me. Say that asshole Gem and that asshole Brady and that asshole Bakio left us, and now, and now things are fucked up. So, uh, and do like a schoolyard pick. And this is where you can tell people, like Paul, I know you want to play with your friends, but right now we need to we need to get 5v4 rebalanced. I, 
from what they said last night, Paul and Battlehead together, they feel that the people that are on that side, particularly being one person in general, do not um, simply said both that they don't want to even bother divisioning up. Well, the, the quite frank thing is, is you can't put two people together that can't stand each other. There's, quite frankly, there's one or two people in 5v4 that I I would just rather not play wargaming than be on their dead team. Yeah. That's not something you force. So just mm -hmm. identify those two or three conflicts. Identify if somebody's like, hey, you know, I realize you guys are rebalancing, but I really don't want to play with this guy. And that's mm -hmm. cool. You can you can respect that all day long. But that, yeah. that one or two conflicts... Dude, you have 20 people on each team. That doesn't define who 20 people are going to be on each yeah. team. And at the end of the day, I reckon there's a difference between I cannot be with this person and mm -hmm. I just don't like them. You know what I mean? Like that there's a difference there. If you just don't like them, you can be an adult and be mature and be professional and get along with them for the purposes of Penthouse. house. Now, last night, we actually didn't have the numbers we wanted. And some of the more skilled players for that B team weren't able to show up. So, and on top of that, SpongeBob will be joining them instead of A because he simply fits over there. No, and he doesn't. He's going to be a bombshell. Uh, Dude, you just took two extremely hostile personalities and took possibly what could be the most hostile, strong personality and dropped it in the middle of them. <laughs> I got, sorry, sorry. I got a kill over the mountain. Like and, this, and here's the problem. The problem is me. Or is, this is the root of the problem. The problem isn't those guys. It's not. They're great. The yeah. problem is the people... The problem is the people that were put on Bravo team to keep Bravo team calm and manage it and be that gel are not there oh, yeah. anymore. So you have to re you have to re look at those cool headed personalities that are gonna stay cool and you have to get them in there. I think what I can do is make uh, remind games and I can make a list of what players can be meshed on both sides because there are people on one side who just in battle comms alone need to have that constant humor and there are people on the b side they're like yo guys can we please just shut up and talk about the game alone but no here's the here's the issue though the issue is this it's real simple this this two team thing um, if it's not managed right, might actually split and fracture 5v4. It's about to rip it apart. It's not there yet, because it's just scrims. But if people perceive, you know, fun, friendly team on A and a bunch of aggros on B and strong personalities, literally it will rip it apart. And you know what will happen? You're only reinforcing the idea that it's okay to just play with the people that you like. I love you. Yeah. And that's not the intent of 5v4. The intent is for all of us to play together, and as 5v4 is a clan, we're better for it. And that's leveraging diversity. But the problem with diversity is you have to manage it appropriately. And that's, right now, I'm telling you, when me, Brandy, and Bakio left Bravo team, we unbalanced the team. And the answer is not SpongeMan. That is actually, you literally just Probably threw a rock worse, at a glass yeah. building. Quite frankly, uh, and I'm sorry if all the guys are in here, he has never heard me talk like this before, but Brandy's an officer, State's an officer. Quack, I, I would ask you to just, I don't mind you listening, but I would ask you to not repeat this shit. No, of course not. Um, and never winner. Never winner, you're, you're, you're not, you're, you're cool. I know you're cool. Quite frankly, never winner, I'm waiting for you to come to five to five, but you take your time, it's fine. <laughs> Um, so say the, the issue is you have to recognize the team has been rebalanced. My recommendation to you is this. Um, my recommendation is you wipe the board, redraw teams, and you need to, here's the thing, you need to be very selective about who you let give you input on the teams. Because everybody okay. has an opinion. 
Yeah. And rank, quite frankly, doesn't mean anything. The big no. picture is the healthiness of 5d4. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sorry for putting you guys through this. That's, it is kind of, it is fallout from, from us leaving and expanding in 5d5, which is the long-term bigger picture. But it's, uh, yeah, dude, it's not gonna, there's no positive outcome of splitting those teams up and leaving them this way. Especially at the Sunday night scrimmage, people are that pissed off. Did I steal a kill? Hells yeah, you did. <laughs> Say, welcome to leadership, brother. Yeah, I've got a lot of growth to go. Well, it's not necessarily growth, it's just um, experience, it's all of this. Quite frankly, you're getting more experience here with this clan, and you have a lot of good people in the clan that give you good ideas. Uh, like what Neverwinter just said, the the fact that he has the, the awareness and the courage to say, hey, you're going to run 5v4 apart, quite frankly, and he's not in 5v4 right now, but he plays with us all the time, so he might be a good person to actually talk to, like, what do you think about these two people? Because he's got nothing to lose by giving you advice. Yeah. If you talk to somebody like, I'll say Battlefed, and this isn't a bad thing, I love the guy, but if you talk to him, he definitely has personal preferences of how he wants to influence mm -hmm. things for his personal reasons versus the 5 v reasons. At the end of the day, the bigger picture is what matters. Uh, one symptom that your team is falling apart is when people start worrying about themselves and not about what's better for the team. I tell you what though, Sem's in charge. Sem is definitely the right man in the job. Yeah, yeah. If you if you pull Sem, he's cool headed. He manages things. He's he deals with real life conflict every day on the streets. Um, he could definitely. Uh, my recommendation would be talk to Sem and Hawk. Uh, you yeah. three. Um, if you don't if you don't want to draw the whiteboards yourselves, I would I would I would pick who you would like to have in that discussion as well or just pick your teams and then run the teams by some some other people like maybe neverwinter mm -hmm. yeah i would i would hate to see 5v4 end up like end up in this gigantic i hate you riff yeah you know? that would just that would suck but it's doable that's the good news uh, but it is after what you've told me, and I had a couple of people poke at me last night after your scrims uh, when I was reinstalling the game. And yeah, there's there's something needs to happen, something needs to change. Good luck with that. No, but you, uh... I could use your help here. Save me. I'm getting my yeah. butt ripped off over here. Oh, save me. Save us. <laughs> I'm doing what I can way out here with these battleships. My uncle's got torn, right? Yeah. Where's the Citadel for the turbines? Can't find it. Hard to Citadel. Yeah, exactly. It's a whole broad thing. What the fuck is the CV doing? That's who I was kind of kicking. Yes! Yes! <laughs> nice job. 
Get it all over or just take them out? I torqued them twice. Oh, you torqued them. <laughs> That's from 8K LA. Wow. <laughs> I was wondering. Is that your torpedo range? Yeah, that was my torpedo range. <laughs> And then I found some torps heading my way. Quack, smoke up and shoot. I oh, got no yeah, smoke got... left. I gotta turn around. Then shoot, man. Trying not to enrage this guy. Now he's looking at me. <laughs> well, hey, you got him. You got him out of the cap, so we got our cap back. Yeah. He's turning towards you. I know. You can't have much uh -huh. left, can you? Oh, he's got a lot left. Then he must have did some healing. He's healing right now, dude. Uh, never wonder. Do you have alternative interface mode on? Where it tells you the health of the ship above it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank God I'm back in game. Yes, nice, Torps. Oh, you missed him on the ass end. Uh, but he's paying attention to. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it out of the He's turning away. Fiji's more threat to him. Come on, come on, come on. Miyoko's almost dead. I wouldn't worry about him. Damn you, British guns. <laughs> run, Fiji, run. There's a bomber on your head. Yoko's gonna try, but he's gonna fail. Oh, Fiji's dead. I think he's got premium camouflage on that. Why would you do that? On the what, Miyoko? On the Fiji. Hmm. You really like him? I just, I assume, because it looks unique in the Fiji. Which is a British line. This guy's gonna scream and kill. He's in reverse, quick. Yeah, I just realized that. I was gonna say if that guy had to get him. One more shot, no two more shots. Who are you, planes? No, just die. <laughs>
Quack bad. wrecking 5D. Nice. That's not too bad. Two of us in the top three. You know, some of you slacking off down there. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> wrong with slackers. Leave them alone. <laughs> hey, hey, I get picked on all the time. Hey, what are you doing down at the bottom? <laughs> you know, it's not that often I get to rub it in. <laughs> okay, I don't understand. Every time I come out of a match, I keep getting one of these messages from Wargaming. Commander, one? Commander, it's been two years since your first battle in the World of Warships. We salute you and present you a gift of 15 sets of unique camouflage. What? Okay. What Take that. <laughs> Hey, I got complimented. War game is being too nice right now. No shit, what'd you do wrong, Sam? They're expecting changes soon. Yeah, they are. Like, I, I, I don't know, this is like CV1, I'm not liking so far. Maybe a rich man would not do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download a Aslan's. Was it seven seven point twelve? Yeah, something like that. Seven point ten point two underscore zero zero. Dot com dot org. Dang, I should put up some commander flags on that match. I didn't even realize Paul was in here. Speakers are turned off. Samuel's doing his job, that slacker. Jim, I tell you what, these tech, these scrimmages though are helping me um, perfect the calling, and I'm starting to get better at uh, mid battle. That's cool. Man. Adaptations. Oh, like, that's like in the middle of it. Yeah. Quick, you said which one's the update? Uh, 7102. It should just be up on the house's website. I just got it right now. Mm -hmm. User joined your What's up? Hey. No, I just wanted to talk with you and uh, my games. You jumped on pretty fast. But yeah, I mean, I was, I was just watching the scrims. Oh yeah. Or at least like last week's last week's scrims. Quack didn't have this week's uploaded. Mhm. Mm no, I just need to do some editing first. Take out any confidential information. <laughs> oh my, there's confidence. No, like tactic maps and stuff.
Uh, Hawk, if you need to jump down to another channel to listen to the stream until we wait for my games. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the game now. So. Oh, okay. Yep, gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, um, I should get a Haruga Mo. Or Clan Battles. Oh, Hawk, you, you here, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Um, do me a favor. When we're done here in a second, I want to grab you and say... Okay. Yeah, Jim, if you could be there when we have that conversation. Yeah, I definitely want to. Careful, Hawk. He, he, he's got really touchy handy feels, you know. His hands but, yeah. Yeah. He likes it. Everyone's talking so like cryptically now. I'm not sure what's going on. I just want to open myself up to you a little more. Oh, I see. So you're just using this as an excuse to uh, get, try to get me to know you better? <laughs> He's trying to get close to you. Holy crap, that was intense trying to talk to you guys, and I was in the middle of a Diablo boss match. I love it whenever battleship shells like look like they're gonna kill you and then they all ricochet. <laughs> yeah, right. You wanna drop that thing there, Quack, or are we gonna wait for someone? I thought we were waiting for a sake to get back. No, just just go. Oh. Right. Well, if anybody you can't bring a brandy. Anybody looking for eight nine brandy? Um, say so you're for back. now. I'm yeah. Just waiting. All right. I'm gonna do something three. for a couple of those ten minutes. Right. I'll be back. Alright, Brandon, we'll see me. User left your channel. Alright, here we go. Never mind, uh... Let's show Shane safe, we don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us get like six games losing streak. And he'll, and he'll get slaughtered. Say, <laughs> you're our good luck charm, we can't play without you. Yeah. We need your spiritual support. <laughs> Neptune is my best foreign exchange student friend. <laughs> <laughs> are you on, are you on the uh, WhatsApp? Who, me? Yeah. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Some of the shit that you spoke about there. Oh, <laughs> evil. Okay, where are we going? Uh, weaving all these rocks in and out.
。正。Yeah, that's why they're so smart. There he goes. Forks. Holy crap, those things are widespread. North Carolina is just out of my reach. Jeez, those shells scared the fuck out of me. Those things are parked in my hip pocket. <laughs> oh, I just sent him down the dark alley. Oh, my. Nice. Oh, where's Leningrad? Where's Leningrad going? Shit. Why is he leaving? Why is he leaving? smoke on you. If you reverse, I can give you smoke. Or at least stop. I'm trying to hit you Oh, we don't show broadside. side. I'm not putting the berry now. Hold out sight to everybody on this. Trying to give you smoke, man. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's a torps up to that smoke up. Huh. All is good. Breathe again. Yeah, they do that. Frickin' Leningrad spot for us. Are you detected? Oh, it's probably that Jervis. Hang on. Ah, uh, he was really close to me. Oh, shit. North Cal. Or Caro. Yeah, good brush side. Watch out for the Missouri back there, though. I am spotted by something. Ooh, corpse. I'm looking. Gotta go dark. Ah, oh, my shells are gonna hit. Hey, look, free cap.
Yeah, you homo here trying to steal my cap. Screw you. so I can pop smoke. Yeah. Hell, you know, Bismarck is capped that. Well, it is the weekend, so. Was. <laughs>
Oh, I didn't see the Seattle there. Yeah, whatever. Balls need him. Yeah. Whatever. I had my fun. It was fun. I love this thing. You want to run some other tiers, or you want to stay the same? Oh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Where, 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 where? Ooh. Ooh, the apply here button came back. Apply, man, apply. Ooh, I'm going to be a turkey. Turkey. How, do you do you have any serious strikes or bans in game or former practice in the last twelve months? <laughs> no, nope. nope, I don't believe so. Scored. <laughs> sure. What the hell? Have you previously participated in bounty event or an event account? The the choice is yes, comma no. I I, I know I'm like <laughs> Forum PM, does that mean I have to sign up for forum? Oh, gotta make sure I can have that first then. Oh, it's already... Already have an account anyway. Done.
when is this supposed to take to start? On Wednesday at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. my time. November 19th in the morning. Jesus Christ, that's a week away. Think I'm going to remember that? Go back. Let's see this. go group bashing. There's only there's a pair of twos down there. Let's go each join one. Say, hey, we're ready. Let's go three. <laughs> You guys have the Minotaur? Not me. Hmm. Do I want DD Killer or AA build?
All right, ready? Maybe I'll go for the balanced build. What is the Minotaur anyways? UK tier 10 oh, cruiser. Okay. It's the... Kind of like the Des Moines with only AP. Ah. I'm at the back of the house. Back up against the dock and dock slow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost nothing compared to the length of my ship. <laughs> what are we gonna go see or how can you see I guess? Oh, Jen's messaged me. So you going to see? Yeah. Uh, I'll be uh, between B and C. Dang it, swing into this. There's a lot of fights over here. Smug. Wait, I was going to get this much? Fuck. I'm not such a target for Uh, 
that you? Yep. Oh crap, Seattle. Going your way. Do you hate it when your gun or when your boat turns faster than your guns? Thank you. 
What? Huh? There's somebody with radar back here. You got that reach. Must be in Seattle. You're not gonna die on me, are you? No, look where I am at. There's yeah, I know. Yo, gonna find that DD or what? <laughs> There they are. He's with the Roma. See the torps? Oh yeah. So he's hiding along the, the big island? Yeah, something like that. Has to be. Nice. Of course. What did you think was going to happen? That's it then. Good game. Good game. I haven't got a kill yet. I must get Me killed. Me neither. Moscow line. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, this AP is great. I love it. It's a lot less to think about. I think it's bedtime for, for me. Bedtime? Yeah. I guess you've been up all night. Mm, uh, no, it's one in the morning here. I'm in Hong Kong. And what are you doing there? Working. Oh. But I thought you were in Canada, the way everybody was talking. I grew up in Canada, in uh, Vancouver. Oh, User Chinese disconnected from your channel. Yeah, West Coast. Yeah, I'm in Alberta. Ah, I was, down, I, I was down in down down by Kamloops this summer when the fires yes. were on, and seeing the dollar forty six a liter gas. That was horrible. So do you live in you live out there now then? 
Yeah, I'm in Hong Kong. I go back like once or twice a year. Good plan with you. Okay, I shall fine. see you around. Take care. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna go down and talk to Jim. Jump Hello. And I'd, ra I'd rather have Hero in his, you yeah. know, be in his uh, Montana. Hey, bring it. What's up, man? Oh, I was just uh, quack going to going to bed, so I just thought I'd come chat. But if you guys are chatting privately, I'll take off. I mean, we're, yeah, what we're talking about has nothing to do with 5v3, so. And I'm letting them run the love for you, brother, but yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. Psst, get out of here. Bye. Say, come on, don't talk to me like that bottom of the barrel. Hey, don't tell me to go to school at this time. I don't have classes. I tonight. haven't said a single solitary thing in days. days. <laughs> it's not my fault. You know, between me and Quack, you were always, you know, at the bottom of the barrel when we won. No kills. Come on. No kill. Yeah, you kept taking the fucking kills. <laughs> hey, I still got the kill. Ha! All right. Yeah. So if I were to get Harugamo, and then I'd be off. I'd be off the DM, which means we can bring in the Salem. Channel switched. Oh, I gotta take a break. Disconnected. <laughs>